All right, welcome back to Crash. So the first thing we're going to do in this uh, gem cleanup is the colored gems. So our first colored gem is gonna be the red gem and it's gonna be an insanity peak. Now I'm not worried about doing anything else. I'm just gonna get the colored gem, so. I mean, I'll hit boxes and stuff. I'm not gonna just ignore boxes. But... <clears throat> oh. Shit. <laughs> well, it's fine. I'm again. I'm not. I'm not trying to do anything else. I just want to get these colored gems so that I can get that out of the way. Damn it. Because there's no point trying to get all the other stuff if I don't have the colored gems. Because you have to do the gem paths in order to get that stuff as well. So. Okay, so in order to get this, here, I'll, sh I'll show. There's this little diagram here. You just have to jump on the blocks in that order, and you'll get the red gem. So. Shit. It's hard to get this. Actually, you know what? I don't even care about the boxes. I just want to get the gem. So let's just get the gem. Okay, now I just gotta finish the level. There's the hidden gem. I'm gonna grab that. Although, I 100% know that I have to do all the levels and get all the gems without dying in one run. So, I'm aware of that. And I know it sucks, and I know it's really hard, but we're gonna do it. There's a red gem. A uh, green gem is in the hazardous wastes. And it is on hit the road. Okay. Okay, so this one's easy. Green gem was on this level. We're gonna spin these barrels right here. 
for another trophy while we're here. I don't really know why I care about... Whoops. I've already died a bunch of times, so I might as well just... Stick with the goal, Adam. Stick with the goal. This one, this one, and this one. Junkyard jams. So that one. sure how you do that you just have to I don't know well, again we're not worried about it And I am going to have a hard time. I'm doing all these levels without dying. Yeah. Are you ready? 
gotta spin something here. This. And there's our green gem. one's probably the hardest to get, which is the blue one. And it's here, dragging on. Now we have to get through the entire level without breaking a single box. And this is when you have the Econo Mask and that's going to be really hard. So I ended up doing this with my microphone muted intentionally just because it was taking me quite a, quite a good many tries. I don't remember exactly how many tries it took me. You'll be able to see my death count at the end. But anyway, it just was easier for me to just not have to worry about talking and just concentrate on doing the level. And once I got it figured out, it wasn't that bad. Honestly, it was actually a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. Um, but really, this is the hardest part here. You just want to make sure you go over the railing. Don't try to go through the little opening because you'll break a box. And then this, this part's all pretty straightforward and easy. I struggled with this part for a long time too until I figured out that doing a slide jump gets you high enough that you don't break those boxes. So pretty much once I got past this, it was pretty straightforward for the most part. I mean, I do struggle a little bit on the second half of the level, but it's only just because getting across the gaps and avoiding the tigers and dragons is a pain. Whereas it's not so much a worry of hitting boxes because there really aren't a whole lot of boxes in the way, at least ones that are like hard to avoid. So. The second half of the level is definitely easier than the first half of the level, in my opinion. This part I was a little bit nervous with, just because it's a pretty far jump and I didn't want to miss the platform or break those boxes, but I made it, so... It worked. I'm almost at the point where we can get a little cheeky checkpoint. I did another slide jump here just to make sure I cleared the TNT. And then this was this is pretty simple. Just make sure you wait for the opening with the dragons. Get past them. I know there's another term for those things. They're not really dragons. Anyway, if you go through the to the bonus round and just die, it gives you a checkpoint basically. So if you do mess up, you'll just respawn back at the bonus round. Which this took me a couple of attempts to get up this too, but still, in my opinion, this part is much easier than the very first part. The first half of the level is a lot more difficult than the second half. Because the second half is just a matter of timing and just making sure you don't fall off or get hit by one of the tigers or whatever. 
because there isn't really a whole lot of boxes here to hit, so it's not too stressful to worry about breaking boxes. It's just a matter of making it across the gaps and not getting hit by the dragons or the tigers. If you land further out on those ledges, you get a little bit more time to jump again, too. I struggled with this part for a while, I don't know why. For some reason, like, getting on this platform was so difficult for me. And I was always so nervous that I was going to hit that checkpoint box. So here is again, I mean, you don't even get close to those boxes, so it doesn't even really matter. But like, I just kept messing up in these stupid jumps. It's just so hard to judge. And you're so floaty when you're spinning like that. This level, to get the insanely perfect relic, is going to be real fun. I can think of a few, a few levels that are going to be difficult to get that. The last level, for sure, is going to be really hard. Did I get it here? I don't think so. There's a couple times where I made it all the way, and I fell at the very last spot. Definitely took me quite a few tries. But like I said, luckily having that checkpoint with the bonus round makes it so much better to be able to get up. This is like the worst gem though. Like aside from well no. This blue gem is just the worst. It has the worst um like requirement. You have to get through this whole level without breaking a box. The other ones are really easy. It's just a matter of collecting them in the level. The yellow gem is literally just sitting sitting somewhere you have to collect it. Green gem, there's a little bit of thing that, like it's hidden, but I mean it's you still just collect it. And then the red gem, you have to do a little puzzle basically and you get it. So it's just like this one's just weird. I definitely, I think I get it the next, the next attempt. The next attempt, or the next two attempts. I get it. But yeah, see, I'm already at 31 deaths, so it's not even that bad, to be honest. I didn't, I was really only probably trying this for maybe 30 minutes, too. So it's, it's not as difficult as as the internet or other people make it sound. I mean, it's definitely hard, but I don't think it's any harder than getting the insanely perfect relic. That's probably the hardest challenge for sure. And I know that's gonna take me a long time. I think this is the one I get it in. there and it saved me so yeah this is the one obviously that I get it in and there's the blue gem okay and we got that done so I'm gonna voice over commentary that because Jesus Christ that took so long well not really it didn't take that long but the first part of the level is way harder than the last part of the level. Okay, so the very last uh, color gem is the yellow gem. 
And that is on Mosquito Marsh. And it is Run It By You. And this is just, it's just hidden, really. It's pretty easy to get. And I'm just gonna ignore everything else just so I can get this. There it is. It's pretty easy. So now you just gotta go back. Does it stay? Maybe I guess maybe it stays. I hope so. Oh my gosh. Alright, I think it stays, so let's just finish the level. Let's just get this done. I forget what the boost button is. colored gems so that's gonna do it for this episode and next episode we'll start clearing we'll either start clearing color gems or color gems clear gems or we will um wrap up some other miscellaneous trophies but i don't know what i'm gonna do we'll probably try to start clearing color gems so i'll see you then